Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. Just doing a quick update with the MSI Afterburner overlay support. It now supports DirectX 12, so it's kind of a watershed moment for the people that do the same stuff as me and also who like to monitor the in-game performance while in all aspects of game. So before we could only monitor our in-game um, statistics using DirectX 11, but now with the MSI Afterburner 4.30 Beta 14, which just released today, we can now monitor DirectX 12 um, in-game statistics. You also need to have um, Revertuner Statistics Server 6.50 Beta 5. Um, so you need both of those to have full DirectX 12 support. Unfortunately, there is no support for Vulkan. Um, I did try that with Doom earlier, and I can confirm there is no support for that, but um, just please understand this is still a beta so we may get more support in the future also uh, Microsoft games like uh, Quantum Break and Forza and any other DirectX 12 Microsoft game doesn't seem to work with the overlay but that's more to do with the Microsoft platform being locked down but I'm going to quickly show you a few comparisons uh, Tomb Raider, DirectX 7, DirectX 12 uh, Battlefield 1, DirectX 11, DirectX 12 and I'll also show you Ashes of the Singularity and I'll be using the CPU geared benchmark so it will be more CPU based and I can quick finally have a look at just how hard um, Ashes of the Singularity pushes my 5960X 